Please all stand and let us pray the morning offering. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day, in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world. I offer them for the intentions of your Sacred Heart, the salvation of souls, repatriation for sin, the reunion of the all Christians. I offer them for the intentions of our bishops and the clergy, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father for the month of December. We pray that volunteer nonprofit organizations committed to human development find people dedicated to the common good and ceaselessly seek out new path to international cooperation. Horacio Imparata, for protection against the COVID-19. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness in life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We plight to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Nuestra Señora de Guía, Pray for us. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to a Eucharistic celebration. Today is Wednesday, the memorial of St. Ambrose, Bishop and Doctor of the Church. Please welcome our Mass Presider, Reverend Father, the Nietzsche We. Alina Jesus, Alina, Alina Jesus, Alina, Alina Jesus, Alina. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God 
and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who made the Bishop St. Ambrose a teacher of the Catholic faith and a model of apostolic courage, raise up in your church men after your own heart to govern her with courage and wisdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. To whom can you liken me as an equal, says the Holy One. Lift up your eyes on high and see who has created these things. He leads out their army and numbers them, calling them all by name. By his great might and the strength of his power, not one of them is missing. Why, O Jacob, do you say and declare, O Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God? Do you not know or have you not heard? The Lord is the eternal God, creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint nor grow weary, and his knowledge is beyond scrutiny. He gives strength to the fainting. For the weak he makes vigor abound. Though young men faint and grow weary, and youth stagger and fall, they that hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar us with eagle's wings. They will run and not grow weary, walk and not grow faint. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul, and all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul, and forget not all his benefits. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. He pardons all your iniquities. He heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he requite us according to our crimes. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Please all stand to honor the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Behold, 
the Lord comes to save his people. Blessed are those prepared to meet him. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. My friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. If there is one image that our readings would want to tell about us, about God, it is the image of a yoke. Image of a yoke. Hindi po egg yolk, but a yolk. Tagalog, pamatok. Pamatok. And what is a yolk? It is a wooden cross piece that is fastened over the neck of an animal or two animals and attached to the plow or cart that are to pull. It is used to carry things easy and light. Ito yung nakikita natin sa isang kalabaw, yung pinapatong sa kanyang uh, batok, yung kahoy. Yun yung kahoy ay tinatawag na yoke. At yun yung imahe, na sinasabi sa atin ng ating mga pagbasa tungkol sa Diyos. Isang pamatok. That is what God does to all our burdens. He makes things easy and light to carry. He did not say, or our readings did not say, that God will carry our cross. Hindi po. He did not say, or our readings did not say, God will carry our burdens and our struggles. We still have to carry it ourselves. We have to burden it. We have to struggle it. Ang kaya lang gawin at ang sinasabi lang, pagagaanin. Padadaliin, pero ikaw pa rin ang magdadala. Kaya nga, sa ating mga panalangin, hindi dapat natin ipinapasa sa Diyos ang ating mga pasanin. ba diba minsan, we find ourselves talking to God and telling Him, Lord, take my problems away. Kunin mo na. Binibigay ko na sa iyo. Dapat, hinihingi natin sa Diyos na tayo ay palakasin para ang lahat ng ating dadalhin ay ating kakayanin. That should be our prayer. 
Kaya minsan, we do not learn from the struggles, burden, and crosses that we have because we pass it on to God. We do not carry it. And what Jesus is telling us to learn from Him, to learn from God. Paano tayo matututo kung pinapasa natin ang ating mga problema, ang ating mga dalahin at bigatin sa buhay? We carry it. God will just make it easy and light for us. Tayo mismo ang magbibitbit ng ating mga dalahin. Kaya nga, yung mga mahihina, sila yung mga pinasa lang sa Diyos ang lahat. Binitiwan ang mga daladalang mabibigat. And this is not what the prophet Isaiah in our first reading is telling us. Prophet Isaiah said, They who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. Sa Tagalog, ang pag-asa sa Diyos ang nagpapalakas sa atin. Pag-asa sa Diyos, hindi ipasa sa Diyos. Mga kapatid, ang imahe ng isang pamatok ay hindi nangangahulugan na hindi natin dadalhin ang ating mga pasanin. Tayo ang magdadala at hindi natin ito ipapasa. Dahil lang Diyos, anjan, Andyan ang Diyos para tayo ay palakasin at ang ating mga dalahin ay papagaanin. Amen. Please all stand. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Confident of this promise, we now present him our needs. As we say, Jesus, have mercy. Jesus, have mercy. That the Holy Father and the bishops of the church may guide us in the ways of peace and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, have mercy. That those who are tempted to despair under the crushing weight of their problems may seek refuge in Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, have mercy. That those who are suffering from mental torment may find peace in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, have mercy. That those who are weighed down by bodily pain and illness may find comfort and healing in the care and concern of those who nurse them. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, have mercy. That the dead may find eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, have mercy. In silence, we pray for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, have mercy. Heavenly Father, your Son promised to give us rest when overburdened. Grant that we may always respond to his guidance and strengthen us to be instruments of his peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please all stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we celebrate the divine mysteries, O Lord, we pray, may the Holy Spirit fill us with that light of faith by which he constantly enlightened St. Ambrose, for the spreading of your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Ambrose, you bid your church rejoice, so to you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Sana in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Sana in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please all stand. Let us pray. Lead us who have been strengthened by the power of this sacrament, O Lord, so to profit from the teaching of St. Ambrose that hastening fearlessly along your paths, we may be prepared for the delights of the eternal banquet through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for a while for some announcement. You are all invited to the following parish activities. Tomorrow, December 8, is the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, a holy day of obligation. On December 8, Holy Mass schedules are as, a, as follows. 7 in the morning, 12.15 in the afternoon, and six in the evening. Next Sunday, December 11, is the third Sunday of Advent, known as Gaudete Sunday. Every Gaudete Sunday, the infant Jesus figures from the crib, or popularly known as the Belen, is blessed. The Holy Father, Pope Francis, encouraged all Catholic homes to put up the Belen to remind everyone of the immense love of God to us in the incarnation of Jesus, our Savior and King. You may bring your infant Jesus of the Belen for the blessing in all Masses next Sunday, December 11. On December 12 is the feast day of Our Lady of Guadalupe. In line with the celebration, we shall be having a Tridom prayer from December 9 to December 11 at 12 noon. Feast day Masses will be held at 7 in the morning and 12.15 in the afternoon. The schedules of our Aguinaldo Masses at the Shrine are as follows. Simbang Gabi from December 15 to 23 is at 8 o'clock in the evening, while our Misa de Gallo from December 16 to 24 is at 4.30 in the morning. Thank you for your attention. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration has ended. Go in peace to love and serve our Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh
Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as children of our Blessed Mother, we are gathered before her miraculous picture to honor her and to pray for all our needs. Unworthy children that we are, let us ask first of all, ask God's mercy and pardon. Merciful Father, you sent your divine Son to redeem us by his death and resurrection, to give us a new life. By this, you make us your children to love one another in Christ. How many times in the past we have forgotten this sublime dignity? We have sinned against our brothers and sisters. We have offended you. Merciful Father, forgive us, repenting sincerely of our sins, we ask your mercy. May we always live as your truly devoted children. Mary Immaculate, star of the morning, chosen before the creation begun, destined to bring through the light of your dawning, conquest of Satan and rescue to man. Then from your throne at the voice overcrying, look to this earth where your footsteps have trod. Stretch out your arms to us living and dying. Mary Immaculate, Mother of God, we sinners all know your sinless perfection. Fallen and weak, for God's mercy we plead. Grant us the shield of your mighty protection. Measure your aid by the depth of our need. Bend from your throne at the voice of our crying. Look to this earth where your footsteps have trod. 
Stretch out your arms to us living and dying. Mary Immaculate, Mother of God. Please kneel. Dear Mother of Perpetual Help, from the cross Jesus you gave it to us for our mother. You are the kindest, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on us, your children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this one. While you are on earth, dear mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your son, strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God. You accepted the mysterious designs of his will. We too have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost crush us to the ground. Dearest mother, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us, that he answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine Son. Help us to realize that he who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share his resurrection. Virus Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always love others so much. Help us to do the same. While praying for our own intentions, and for the intentions of all here present at this novena, we earnestly ask you, our mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying, give hope to the poor and the unemployed, heal the brokenhearted, walk in solidarity with the oppressed, teach justice to their oppressors, and bring back to God all those who have offended him. Dearest mother, share, help us avoid sin which separates us from our heavenly Father and from one another. Full of trust, we place ourselves under the mantle of your maternal protection and confidently hope to your powerful compassion, intercession. Amen. Prayer for the home. Mother of perpetual help, we chose you as queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they may always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loves his church. We ask you to bless all parents. May they love and cherish the children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers. To your loving care, we especially entrust the youth of today. Give us all sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making a home a heaven of peace like your own home at Nazareth. We take you as our model. Help us to grow daily in genuine love of God and neighbor, so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire family of mankind. Amen. Petitions to our Mother of Perpetual Help. Holy Mary. Pray for us. Holy Virgin, conceived without sin. Pray for us. Our Mother of Perpetual Help. Pray for us. We sinners call to you. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may prepare like you for the coming of Christ. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become courageous witnesses of Christ's love for men. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be more and more like our Divine Lord as you were. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be big and humble of heart like your Son, Jesus. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may fear losing God's friendship forever by unrepented sin. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may seek Christ's mercy and forgiveness 
constantly in the sacrament of penance. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may be aware of God speaking to us in the events of daily life. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may pray daily with love and trust, especially in moments of temptation. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may understand the value of worshiping God together in the Eucharist. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may grow in the love of Christ and neighbor by frequent communion. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may reverence our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may strive to be true Christians by loving concern for others. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work conscientiously. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may forgive from our heart those who have wronged us. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may see the evil of seeking our own interests at the expense of others. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may work for the just distributions of this world's goods. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may share our talents and others for the good of the community. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may accept our responsibility in the community in the spirit of genuine service. Loving Mother, pray for us that the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen Pope Francis, the bishops, and the clergy. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may be blessed with priests of priestly and religious vocations. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may care and protect God's creation. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may defend the human dignity and sanctity of human life from conception to natural death. Loving Mother, pray for us that there will be genuine and lasting peace in the world. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may bring the knowledge and love of Christ to those who do not know Him. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may be aware of our dependence on God in the midst of human achievements. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may be ready at death to enter the home of our Heavenly Father. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen Lord. Loving Mother, pray for us that our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your Son's resurrection. Loving Mother, pray for us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Pray for the people of God. May all experience God's perpetual help. Lord, you gave us Mary to be a mother ever ready to help us. Grant us the grace to have recourse to her in all our needs. Amen. Amen. Consecration. Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother, mother of God, God and Mother of the, of the Church, we are also our Mother, mother ever ready, ready to help us. us. With hearts full of love you. for you, we consecrate we ourselves to your Immaculate heart, heart so that we may be your devoted children. children. Obtain for us through sorrow sins, for our sins and fidelity to the, to the promises of our baptism. baptism. We consecrate our minds and hearts to you, that we may always do the holy will of our Heavenly Father. We consecrate our lives to you, that we may love God better, and live not for ourselves, but for Christ your Son, that we may see Him and serve Him in others. By this humble act of consecration, dear Mother of perpetual help, we pledge our, the model our lives on you, the perfect Christian, so that consecrated to you in life and in death, we may belong to your divine Son for all eternity. Amen. Amen. Please rise. Mother of Christ, Mother of Christ, what shall I ask of thee? I do not sigh for the wealth of earth, for the joys that play and bleed. But Mother of Christ, Mother of Christ, this do I long to see. The bliss untold, which your arms enfold, the treasure upon your knee. Mother of Christ, Mother of Christ, 
I toast on a stormy sea. O leave your child as a beacon light to the port where I fain would be. And Mother of Christ, Mother of Christ, this do I ask of thee. When the voyage is o'er, Oh, we stand on the shore and show him at last to me. Please kneel. Lord Jesus Christ, truly present in the most blessed Eucharist, we adore you. It has pleased the Father that in you all his fullness should dwell and that through you he should reconcile all things to himself. Grant us the grace to be truly grateful for all that our Father has done for us. Grant that we may be truly sorry for our sins and renew our lives. Through you, we thank the Eternal Father for the gift of life. He has created all the wonderful things of this world for us. May we learn to use them well so that through them we may grow in love for Him. Above all, we thank our Father for sending you to us as the greatest expression of his love to save us in all creation by your death and resurrection. We thank you, Lord, for giving us your own mother to be our mother of perpetual help. May the countless favors we have received through her intercession, and especially to the Novena, inspire us with this confidence in God's loving mercy and her perpetual help. Grant that we may always do the holy will of God and persevere in His love to the most holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be honor, glory, and thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for the sick. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience, graciously hear our prayer for the sick, especially this one. Grant that they who are weighed down with pain and other afflictions of illness may experience God's healing power and comfort. Restore them to health in body and soul so that they can continue to serve you and their brothers and sisters. Amen. Amen. Let's all rise. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.